Hello, I'm a third year jewellery design and silversmithing student at the CAS, and I found out today during my dissertation studio seminar that London Metropolitan has put the central house campus of the CAS on the market, um, and that it plans to, over the next two years, move the entire school of art design and architecture, the whole of the CAS, up to the main campus in Holiday in Holloway Road. Also that the university intends to reduce the student body from 12,000 to 10,000 people and that their choices on which courses they're going to disband are based upon the, the feedback on the National Student Survey, um, the, size of the size and recruitment of the course and also how easy the course is to reposition. Now I'm a, I'm a jewellery student, can you imagine like our jewellery studios are very well facilitated. They actually have really, really great equipment. Um, some of it's like 50 years old. This is not an easy to move thing. Um, and I was discussing this with a furniture student who basically, we just said like, our oh, courses are going to be the ones to go because you know what? They're not going to move us here. They're not going to move us out from here to a temporary building and then to this new campus because we have too much stuff and we take up too much space and apparently just being an artisanal craft isn't isn't enough to survive at the, this university. You have to be able to just work in a classroom. I've been really upset by this news. Um, upset and angered, more so than I thought I would. This isn't stuff that will affect me. Um, I will finish my degree at the end of this year and these changes won't go into effect for at least another year, I should hope. Um, but it made me angry because I used to, I say that I don't like my university. When somebody asks me, oh, where do you study? What do you study? And I say jewellery design at the CAS, London Metropolitan University. And either they go, oh, London Met. And I go, yeah, I'm a little bit ashamed to be studying at literally the worst university in the whole of the United Kingdom. Uh, but I can guarantee that the art school is not bad. And it has great facilities and it has great tutors. And it's really, I am learning things. Or they say, the CAS, awesome. That like has a heritage and a history and it produces good design students. And I agree. I'm like, yeah, I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm good. It's sad that it's attached to a university that has the shittest administration in the world. Um, but yeah, I'm proud to be part of that. Or, or they say, I haven't heard of either of those things. And when someone hasn't heard of uh, the castle under Met, I, I say to them, yeah, it's really shit. I say, it's a shame because we have good tutors and good facilities, but the administration means that our workshop coverage is spotty and things change a lot and it really kind of sucks. And then hearing about the fact that it might end, um, it's made me realise how much I really, really appreciate my university. Not necessarily the university as a whole, but the Art and Design School is an incredible institution uh, with a really, really strong faculty um, and strong historical roots. And even if all of it gets moved up to Holloway Road, it won't be the same place as it was because it's based in East London. It's around this cultural centre. Um, that's, that really is important and it informs a lot of the work that students do. When the architecture department moved down, I think two or three years ago from Holloway Road, um, that was seen as a big change um, and we did have less space because of it. But it made sense to have this holistic space where all of the art and design was. Um, and that's sort of the argument that they're going on for why we're all moving up to Holloway Road. It's like, why don't we just have a massive campus of our whole university? But I don't see that happening. Because the administration of the university doesn't value the CAS for what it is. It sees students complaining about their courses and says, oh, we shouldn't have those design courses because students aren't satisfied with them. And what we're not satisfied is more often than not the administration side of things, which is something that can be fixed. And it's upsetting that they don't see CAS as an institution of designers and makers, of collaborators, of people that want to make it better and all they see is a dotted line on a horrendously indebted organisation. I wish the faculties of art, design and architecture at the CAS had the dignity that they deserved 
and the support that they deserved from a greater university. And I'm going to be really sad if that strength isn't recognised on a larger scale and that the heritage and history and greatness of these courses aren't preserved. How many places in the United Kingdom can you study for a degree furniture restoration? One fewer since London Met disbanded ours. I want to come from a university that's known for caring about those small artisanal crafts that are preserved at the CAS, and a place that embodies collaboration and craft, a place where I can go get something 3D printed, laser cut, flocked, I can forge my own things, I can sew, print, I can do, I can do so much in one place. But to do those things, to get a hold of the incredible equipment and facilities that we have, I have to jump through a thousand hoops of emailing and talking to tutors, technical staff, dealing with timetable conflicts, dealing with space issues, um, dealing with all of the things that suck about the CAS. When we have great spaces and great people and enthusiasm and everybody cares apart from the greater institution of the university. I don't know why a university that's at the bottom of the league tables would throw away an institution such as the CAS that people really can be proud of. I just wanted to share my thoughts on that.